<laughs> Hello there, viewers of the Vanguard in Kind. It is I, Kronos Kaiser, back with... Not Kronos Kaiser, Kronos Phoenix, back with another video with you today. Um, I will be um, uh, commenting on the new um, skill of Gauntlet Zenith that we have long been waiting for. Indeed. Um, what's going on here is basically, it's... Well, it is in Japanese. I have read the skill, and quite frankly, it's lovely. Um, before we get to that, um, it is a cross. While well, it is, a, it is a cross break ride. Um, finally, Aichi gets his own cross break ride. Kamui got his own cross break ride. Uh, essentially, those two being the main, most of the well, one of the main. Uh, two of the main characters of the series. Um, I'm quite proud of that, especially since they've been dealing with cross break rides for a while now. Um, so yeah, down to the ability. Okay, first of all, it's it's a lord, which means if you have a unit that isn't a gold paladin, um, well then you're in a bit of trouble because it can't attack. Which especially with that ability sort of uh, like annoys me sometimes because I understand like clan they're supposed to be specific to their own clan, but adding an ability that reduces that would basically s essentially stops them from attacking because they're supposed to be a part of that clan. Uh, it's it just I mean I like variety and dual clanning involves variety, but when you dual clan, there's you leave all the variety out. Just annoys me as all. Um, but besides me being annoyed, um, yeah, it is a lord, which means you have to use a gold paladin deck. Otherwise, well, you don't have to. But if you're not going to, if you're using units other than gold paladin, then you need to be very careful. Um, anyway, uh, if you have obviously, if you have solitary liberator against lot in the soul, it gains two thousand power. And now, for the limit break. It's very uh, simple limit break. The cost is one counter blast. Um, when this unit attacks a vanguard, uh, you may pay the cost. If you, uh, oh yeah, it's counter blast one and put a unit, a gold paladin. I think it's a gold paladin or a liberator uh, unit uh, to the bottom of the deck. I think it's a liberator, uh, a grade two or lower uh, liberator unit, and put it into the bottom of the deck. Um, when this unit attacks a vanguard, you may pay the cost. Um, when you do, check the top card of your deck for a liberator, I think. I do believe it's a liberator. And, um, once you have, once you've checked the top card for, oh no, it's not a liberator, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, check the top card for a gold paladin. Uh, call it to rearguard circle, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck. That unit gains 10,000 power for the rest of the turn. Basically what that means is... Sorry about my stuttering, people. Um, when you attack, you can pay the cost, you counter blast, you put like a unit at the bottom, then you take the top card, and then you call it, and then that unit gains another 10,000 power. Okay, the way this would be used competitively is basically you've attacked with all of your rear guards first and then you've gone in with your vanguard. Uh that makes that means that if they've had five damage, that means they'll have less they'll be less likely to be able to guard this one. And um Yeah, that means they'll be less likely to guard this one unless they have a perfect guard. And even if they do have a perfect guard, you can use its cost, um open some space. Not only open space at the same time as calling it. Um you take you take the top card and then you call it to rear guard circle. Even if that unit is a trigger, that can still be a very nice finishing move. If it if it just happens to be a grade three, then your opponent is in a really tough spot. So yeah, broken. Well, it's not really broken. I think it's balanced in that sense. But yeah, the cross ride is impressive. For a moment, I thought it was a bit underwhelming, and then I realized what you could have done with it, and it's just amazing. It does what gold paladins do best. That is, give power to rear guards, and superior call them, as well as put them at the bottom of the deck, which they normally do. So, yeah. 
Behold, Gancelot Zenith. Um, I hope to see this card in Cardfight Area. I will definitely be playtesting this card as well as the uh, other new cards that will be coming out. Um, so, until then, I will have to say see you later. I will be doing more card commentary. Uh, yeah, more card commentaries on this, like this one, on new releases. So, uh, stay tuned. This is Chronos Phoenix, signing out.